Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning, your teacher Vajia here. And today we will start with chapter number 1 and give detailed answer question 1. Narrate the formation of a district government and its duties. The answer is on your book, page number 24. Point district government. Before discussing this topic, I want to tell you about the history of local self-government in Pakistan. First of all, I will tell you about the of government in Pakistan. Pakistan is a federal republic with three types of government. Federal government, provincial government, and the local government. Government by the local people who formulate and implement domestic policies at the local level is called the local self-government. South Asia Viceroy Lord Ripon enforced the local government system in 1884. After the creation of Pakistan history, President Ayub Khan also enforced the basic democratic system in Pakistan in 1959 and then General Ziaul Haq also implemented the local government system. That General Parvez Musharraf also visible changes the system of local government on October 12, 1999. Power was to be transferred to the lower level of the public. Now I will tell you about the types of the local government local government and the local self-government. What is the difference between them? In a local government, administration is appointed and in a local self-government, people elect administration directly with their vote. Read the definition of local government and local self-government on your screen. Local government, administration of local areas run by appointed bureaucracy and local self-government administration of local areas run by its elective representatives. I hope now you can understand the difference between local government and local self-government. You can see the hierarchy of local self-government, local public administration of district, the seal and union level. Nasim is the political head of the district. The administration of the district is run by the district coordination officer DCO. District administration is comprised of different department and the head of every department is called the executive district officer EDO. The district government comprises NASIM, NAIB NASIM, council and administration. The head of the district government is the district Nazim. Naib Nazim is his assistant and all the union council Nazims are the member of the district council and administration. Out of the total seats in the district council, 33% seats for women, 5% seats for farmers and 5% seats for minority. From one district, all elected union councillors, Nasim and Naib Nasim together elect the district Nasim and Naib Nasim for four years. The district Nasim is the head of the administrative powers. The district police and administration are answerable to district Nasim and the district Nasim is responsible for the development and prosperity of the district also. In the last paragraph, there are the duties of district government. Number one, frame rule and regulations for the district. Number two, implement different programs in the district with the approval of Nazim and council. And number three, impose taxes. In the end of my lecture, I repeat it again. Admi administration of the district is run by DCO and EDO is the head of every department in the 
district government i hope you will understand this topic and learn it take care of yourself allah hafiz